Yes. I hope the demo gods are on your side. <laughs> Create the test database. Set break. Create the test database. Creating the test database with one gig of RAM and a 10 gig memory limit. Flash storage has been enabled. Some of you are like, I don't believe it. <laughs> So what's interesting here is I have 10 gigs of total memory usage, but only one gig of it can be my expensive memory RAM. The rest has to overflow until my fast SSD. Now the nice thing about this is Reg will optimize you know, how this gets used just to make sure that I stay as performant as possible, but this will allow me to actually scale my database past that memory limit. So let's just check on the status really quick. Get the database stats. The test database is using 1.77 megs of RAM, 1.77 megs of memory, and 0.00 megs of flash. In case you are wondering, I'm not impressed. Your entire data set fits in RAM. Hopefully you don't think this is big data. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this thing is at impressed. So we need to add some data to it. So I'm going to use the Redis benchmarking tool uh, to load the database up, okay? And now in Kubernetes, you have the way of running one-off jobs, but the job that I'm going to run is not allowed to run on my big BP Redis cluster machines. They're going to run on the other node. So all I have to do is give it to Kubernetes, and Kubernetes will schedule this workload on the other machine. So I'll do here, say, QTTL create-f jobs, and this is just going to be a low test job, okay? So what will happen is um, the job will be accepted. I'm just pulling down the exact same container instance, but overriding the command just to run the, the Redis benchmark control that will load up my database. And now, what you can also do in Kubernetes without logging into servers, I can get a little bit of data about what's going on. So I can say QCTL logs, right? So we see that this thing is actually putting things out. Uh oh. Are things dying? Oh, I know why it's dying. Because I need to actually connect it to the database. This is what live demos are about, right? So QTTL delete jobs. What is this thing called? Redis Enterprise? Maybe low test? Let's do that. So we'll delete the job. So what we actually need is the database information. So this isn't fully scripted. We need to actually grab the dynamic IP setup and port for this workload. So I'll come here and I'll take jobs and we'll configure it. Now, given all these APIs, we could totally automate this part too, but let's go ahead and stick it in there and try this again. All right, so we'll say QTTL create-f jobs. So at this point, we kick off another job. It seems to be running QTTL logs dash f to follow it. Oh, so we see the benchmarking tool running. So if this thing is actually working, it should be flooding my database with keys. So many keys that it should overflow RAM and end up in flash storage. So the next thing we need to do is see if that's the case. We're going to ask for our stats again to see if we met that goal because it's kind of making fun of me uh, last time here. All right, so let's run it. Get the database stats. The test database is using 1024.04 megs of RAM, 1670.65 megs of memory, and 646.61 megs of flash. Looks like your data set no longer fits in RAM. And I do not have to evict anything. I gotta say, Redis on flash is pretty dope. <laughs>